Well, I'm seeing a lot of green in stocks recently. Do you think we've started a new bull market? Well, I did say that on your show back last October, <laughs> just for the record. Um, the Nasdaq has. Okay. And Stuart, I'm not sure whose purple tie is more handsome today, mine or yours. Oh, gee. Mine. Ooh, wow. No question about no, it. No even. You can buy <laughs> no it if debate. you like. Now, get on with this <laughs> the bull market. What do we got? Um, so I think bottom line is, look, um, you know, all the selling that was done, you pretty much saw that exhausted last year. Um, this banking crisis that we've seen has been contained for the most part. This isn't like the great financial crisis. Hmm. The Fed basically came out and backed pretty much every deposit in the country, which gave the kind of stabilization we need because the market's been going up through this whole banking crisis. And it all just comes down to expectations. Expectations have just been so low, Stuart. Um, if you look at sentiment, it's just been so bearish. And meanwhile, companies have, you know, they've done relatively well. Their profit margins have shrunk a little bit. A lot of that's because of wages. You know, right now we've got a sh labor shortage here, holding on to workers. But that should abate you know, when you get to, like, later in this year. So earnings this year, I think, are going to be pretty good based on expectations. Mm -hmm. And you've got $1.8 trillion sitting on the sidelines of investors just sitting in cash waiting not listening to what I've been saying every week on your show. So I think at this point, you're going to get some FOMO. Money's got to come back in the market. <laughs>